Here's a look at what each one of the buttons do in the new Photobox Control 4 plugin for Photoshop. To start, let's use the Add Photo button. In one of our templates, click on any of the purple photo mask layers, then click Add Photo in Photobox Control. From there, just double click any photo you want to use. Let's say this one here, and it will come right into the template as a smart object where you can resize and position it exactly where you want it. Let's try this again, but this time we're going to use this photo mask and we're going to use the BR button. When you click this button, Bridge will open up and allow you to add photos from Adobe Bridge. We can drag in any photo we want right into the workspace and again it goes right into the template as a smart object where you can resize and position for the photo mask. The tab button allows you to add photos to templates from other tabs inside of Photoshop. This can be especially useful if you like to use Lightroom to edit your images. Let's say we go into Lightroom and we want to open up this image in Photoshop and add it directly to the template. I'll right mouse button click, say edit in Adobe Photoshop, and I'll edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments applied. Click edit and you'll see that the image is open directly in Photoshop. Now, to get the image into the template, all I have to do is click Tab, and you'll see that the image goes right in as a smart object to the photo mask. There I can resize and place the image exactly where I want inside of the template. Sometimes you try to add a photo to your template, and it doesn't fit perfectly without cropping off part of the image that you want to save. In this case, we can use the Copy and Fill buttons. I'll start out by making sure I've selected the photo that I'm using, and I'll make a copy of it so I don't hurt the original. You'll also note when I click the Copy button, the image is no longer in a smart object, so I can edit on it. Now I'll grab my Marquee tool and make a selection of the area of the template that the image didn't fill. Next, I'll come up to Photobox Control and click Fill. You'll notice Photoshop has filled in the areas of the template where you weren't able to with the original photo. Next, we can customize any template to match our photos perfectly. We can do that by using the color picker or hue and saturation adjustment in the layer stack. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the background layer here, and then I'm going to click color picker. Wherever you see orange is where the color of the template will change, and now I'll click on any color inside of my photo and I can match that photo perfectly. You can click on skin tones, you can click on any color inside of the image to match. The same applies to the hue and saturation adjustment. Maybe you want to change the color of this flower. I'll click the flower layer, click on hue, you get a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and you can adjust the colors as you see fit for the image that you're using. The next button to look at is the Smart Object button. We have a shortcut in Photobox Control 4 to create smart objects out of any layer or multiple layers. For example, the image we created here as a copy of our original image, we can convert back to a smart object by just clicking this button. The next button over is the Duplicate button. When you work inside of Photoshop, sometimes you like to create a duplicate copy of the image you're working on to preserve an original copy. In this case, we'll click the Duplicate button, and automatically you can see another copy of this image has been added to our workspace. Another button inside of Photobox Control is the In Out button. If you're on a layer that is inside of a photo mask layer, as you see here, indicated by this clipping mask icon, you can take this layer in or out of the mask by clicking In or Out. You'll see the photo comes out of the template when we do that, or if I click it again, the image goes into the template. This works with other layers, including adjustment layers. Say this layer was all the way to the top of this layer stack, and the color was affecting all of the layers below it. Click in or out, and that colorized layer will only affect the layer below it. The alignment buttons will help you align elements of your template, either centered from left to right, or top to bottom, or right in the center of your canvas. An example of this would be the following. I can select all three of these layers, resize, and 
put them right here. If I want these layers to be perfectly centered across the width of this canvas, I can click the first alignment button. If I want these layers all to be centered from top to bottom, I can click the second button. I can also center all of these layers by clicking the center button. You can do this with multiple layers, and you can do this with groups of layers that you create. And you can use it with any element on any layer inside of Photoshop. Finally, there's the Comp button inside of Photobacks Control 4. This button will allow you to take a copy of all the layers in your layer stack, merge them together, and place it on the top of your layer stack. You'll see how I do that here when I click the Comp button. Notice that now, at the top of my layer stack, I have a copy of all of the layers combined that are visible. This comp layer can be useful in many ways. It can document changes inside of the layer stack. You can use it in other documents that are open without having to drag over all the different layers. You can also change the blending mode and edit with this layer, preserving your original layers below it. For example, if I change this now to soft light, we get a different effect on the entire image. So there are many ways to play with the Comp button, as well as all the other buttons inside of Photobacks Control 4. Photobacks Control is free with the purchase of any product at photobacks.com.